next guest is a very funny man who just released his fourth album of stand-up comedy. It's entitled No Kidding. It's brilliant and is available on iTunes right now. Please welcome the hilarious Mike Kaplan. <laughs> You're clapping. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Reggie, James, everybody. You're nice. Um, so does anybody here believe in ghosts? Clap your hands if you're wrong. Okay, great. Thank you. I think whatever you believe is totally fine as long as you're not mean about it, right? Like some of these people are mean. Like one time I told an audience I didn't believe in ghosts and a woman yelled at me from the crowd. She was like, boo. I was like, you can't trick me. You're not one. I know that. <laughs> I'm a comedian. Do you guys believe in psychics? I had a psychic on my podcast. Do you guys believe in podcasts? They're not real. Uh, I think a psych uh, podcast is like the ghost of a radio show. Um, so I met a medium once. A medium is basically uh, a guy who can talk to or a girl who can talk to or just a fake person who can talk to. Uh, the dead, like a unicorn is a horse with one horn, so a person who can talk to the dead. Uh, so I met this, uh, this medium and he said that he could communicate with the dead but they were humans. Uh, so they could lie to him, so anything that he reported back, he could not guarantee whether it was true. <laughs> so I'm working on becoming a medium as well. And uh, you can't do that in comedy. You know, you can't be like, I'm gonna tell some jokes, but obviously humor is subjective, so you might not enjoy what I'm saying, but I do still get paid with your money. So thank you very much <laughs> with that. Uh, oh, that's thank you very much, and your applause. Uh, you don't, please stop it. Thank you for doing it, thank you. <laughs> stop, but and also do it, thank you. Why don't you listen to me telling you to do opposite things? Thank you. So I had a psychic on my podcast and she predicted three things about me. Here were the three things she said, predict, and here's the thing. If she gets one of them right, then I think that she's a psychic. If she gets one right, then I'm like, that's great. You did it. You got a psychic, you're a psychic. So number one prediction, she said, Chicago is gonna be very important to you. No, it's not. So number two, she predicted, <laughs> she said, you have a friend named Rose. I was like, I know a girl named Rose. She's like, that's your friend. <laughs> And you should give her a call because she might be in trouble. And I was like, oh, she might be in trouble. So if she is or isn't in trouble, you got this one. Right, okay, so that'd be like if you got a fortune cookie, that's like, okay, so you just had Chinese food or you're about to or neither. One of those is definitely, <laughs> so that's prediction number two. Prediction number three, she says, you're gonna meet a dog named Fred. <laughs> to me, the funny part is meeting a dog because you can name a dog Fred, but it's like, eh. <laughs> Oh, you know that dog? We've met. So, oh, how long ago? Uh, we, we met, let me, I don't know, way back, like uh, seven years or one year, depending which one of us you ask. So, <laughs> I'm a comedian. Okay, that's, stop it, stop it, stop it. Please keep going, stop it. Okay. So, th those are the three predictions. If she gets one, she is a psychic. Uh, the only one I could test immediately, I got out of there, I called this girl Rose, who I went to summer camp with 20 years ago. <laughs> she answered the phone, I was like, Rose, a psychic told me that you might be in trouble and I should give you a call. And Rose said, truly, she said, that is so weird. And I was like, why? She said, it's weird that you would call me because a psychic told you to. <laughs> That's number one weird thing. Number two, it's weird to call. It's 2017. That's why I picked up. I thought you were in trouble. I'm like, are you in trouble? She's like, only this. This is the only trouble I'm in right now. <laughs> You're causing it. <laughs> so that one's out. Psychic's wrong. So the only other two, uh, Chicago's gonna be important, or the dog named Fred I'm gonna meet. So I texted the only person I knew in Chicago, an old friend who's a minister now, and I said, Rebecca, uh, Psychic told me that Chicago's gonna be important to me, and I'm gonna meet a dog named Fred. And she texts back, immediately, I just got a dog named Fred. <gasps> Is right. And I was, I, was, I was flustered. I was like, uh, don't do that. You know what I mean? I. <laughs> Please don't lie to me. Please don't mess with me. You're a person of God, a person of faith, a person of truth. She says, I don't know what to tell you. I got a dog named Fred and I had to start reevaluating my whole life. <laughs> Is there a God? Is this how you find out about it? You think that there's no psychics. God's like, there are psychics. Also, there is genocide. So I'm like, hold on a second, because like, nice God, right? Like, can't spell genocide without nice God. And also, ye. Those are all the letters of genocide. How does he do it? Why won't he stop? So, <laughs> I had a calming thought though. Here's the thing. I still haven't met that dog. <laughs> psychic said I was gonna meet the dog, so the psychic's not right. The psychic is incorrect until I meet the, so I cannot meet the dog. I can make the psychic be wrong. <laughs> if I don't want the psychic to be right, just never, never meet that dog. Just don't go where that dog lives. 
Dog doesn't travel much. Dog, this is my friend. Just don't go visit my friend. Just stay away from that friend. Stay away from her town. Stay away from that place for the rest of my life. All I have to do to make this like be wrong is stay away from Chicago for the rest of my life. And if I do that, then Chicago is very important to me and the psychic got me again. So, uh, <laughs> thank you guys so much. You've been wonderful. My name is Mike Cat. Thank you. Enjoy your lives. Until death. Uh, you're nice. Everybody. Uh, thank oh you so much. Oh, thank you so much. Fantastic. Mike Cat is out of